Today, I sit with all the sadness in the world. I am not ashamed. It harrows me in the sunshine, in my breakfast, in the greetings of others. Sometimes it's huge and angry. It's cynical of everyone and everything. It's snapping and clawing at all that meets it. At other times it's lethargic, unmotivated, in piles of dishes, unfolded clothes and crumbled bodies. Sometimes it's the sorrow of my mother, what we don't have but long to give each other. <laughs> Sometimes it's the sorrow of my sister, crying because she can't belong, the weight clinging to her. Sometimes it's the sorrow of the system, of all the things it tries to organise. It's the people haunted by war, living in war, dreading in war, the people starving, hurting, calling, the people silence, afraid, displaced, the people alone. The dying trees, the burning sun, the shriveled ocean, our polluted lungs, tired voices, guilty successes, our obsessive facts, our endless cycles, our self-medicated relief, the abuse we take, the abuse we see, the ignorance we share, the weight of never winning, never relaxing, always moving, the claws of capitalism, pickling politics, narcissistic news, the faceless generation that we might bring into this racist, selfish, money laundering civilization, our contradictions, our flaws, our criticism of ourselves. Today I am sorrow and I am not going to man up shrug it off or distract myself. Today I sit. <sniffs> Tears cool the corner of my eyes. In this stifling heat, this throbbing hell, it's valid my grief, our grief, our anguish. It's ours to share and acknowledge. In its face we are strong. I am strong when I cry for this suffering world. I am strong when I cry for a home.